space um, where the action wasn't happening at the same time as all that stuff going on and sending that tank down to the bottom right, uh, that sort of bottom middle area. Very, very good tactic right there. Because uh, you got to do, when you're behind, you got to do cost effective stuff like that. Little drops and little harassments that can take out probes and, and SCVs or whatever um, without losing much. And so you, you only risk, you know, one tank basically. And look at this vulture microing for dear life. Oh, is he going to get away? Who's going to? Oh, Zealot wins. Zealot wins. Um, tracked it down in the corner. Oh, harsh. Running in there, forcing him to lift to CC and run it away, and immediately planting down a nexus in that location. Um, and that's exactly what Free needs to do, though. He needs to take advantage of the fact that he has map control um, and really, uh, you know, get all the bases if he can. Uh, but yeah, Light, Light needs to do some more harassment uh, of that kind if he can. Get some tanks in good positions, drop them if he can. Maybe get some vultures out and try and harass some probe lines, although there's a bunch of cannons all over Freeze bases. Um, well, uh, he doesn't have many cannons actually in the 6 o'clock base, but he's got his whole army in between, so he won't be able to accomplish much good there. So Light now um, barely just hanging on here by the skin of his teeth. Oh, more zealots and more Templar in the mix. I, oh, I hope we can see some nice epic storms. He's Oh man, Light, you can tell he's really in trouble here, but he's having to fall back. He's lost control of the high ground. He's having to fall back behind those ridges to make it a little bit more defensible. Um, <clears throat> have a position where the, the zealots can't get up next to his tanks very easily because they'd have to go down uh, excuse me go down around the whole ridge <clears throat> anyway minefield going off and that observer dying when it was needed most um, look at this oh look at this oh nice beautiful position though look at that tank spot I did not know you could fit a tank back there that is cool um, there's like a couple little map artifacts there and uh, some arbiters are going to come in here and probably kill off the tank just by firing at him. Um, he's going to be in danger of EMP taking out all the energy on all those though. Unfortunately, here comes the vessel. Oh, oh, he's trying to spread him out a little bit so they can't do that. Oh, he just EMPs the one vessel. A little bit unfortunate. He probably could have gotten two with that. Um, anyway, uh, at least one of those arbiters is real because the tank is taking damage. So um, he, he manages to take out that tank, but that was a really cool spot back there. And look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Stasising the one tank and the one SCV, and here we go, another batch of hallucinations. Oh my God, there's so many arbors there. Which one is the real one? He's going past there. The oh, in the middle of a minefield though, but right in, literally like in the middle, in the gap between the mines. So he actually does a pretty good job there. Storms, oh man, fail storm. He could have stormed all those SCVs. It would have been a lot better to storm that clump of SCVs. Instead, he stormed some vultures. Fail by free. Um, and to be honest, that's kind of one of the reasons why I don't give Free a ton of respect a lot, uh, is because he does make little mistakes like that a lot that you really can't make as, as a as a super pro. He just doesn't quite have that that same top top edge that the real top players do. Um, anyway, <clears throat> missed out on opportunity. I mean, it wasn't a bad recall, but man, he could have if he had used those two storms on the mineral line. Light would have zero income right now, and he missed the chance to reduce Light to zero income, basically, um, which he had at the moment. Um, anyway, <clears throat> what is stasis there? Is that a? Oh, is that a? Oh, that's the dropship there. I was like, what's floating in the air? Anyway, free now still though has six bases. Light still has four, and but more importantly, mining bases. Free has two and a half, and and Light has one. So the ratio there is much, much worse. Light has that one mining base in the bottom right. I'm really surprised that Free isn't doing more to uh, try and take that base out. Got a bunch of... Oh, no! No, I take it back! He's mined out the bottom right! Light is not mining! Light is not mining at all. So, um... Wow, so now it's Light's turn to try and hang around and turtle as long as possible and make it as difficult as possible for Free to break him in order to <laughs> make Free as tired as possible for the next NBC game player to come in because um, Free is mining from two bases and Light is not mining at all. He's just got these tanks and what have you. Um, there's nothing he can really do at this point um, to get back into the game. He, he basically... Tactically, the best thing to do would be to make one final push and just try and move out with everything he has right now and try and start taking out some bases and then maybe try and start distance miming 6 o'clock or something like that. 
Um, but I don't know if he's even gonna really try and do that. He may wait. He may be doing that right now. He's got SCVs. He's he's going. He's he's gonna try and take hold of that position, and he is gonna try and distance mine that six o'clock position a little bit. Um, he's got his SCVs camp nearby in case there's an opportunity to run in and grab some minerals. Um, but he's not really moving out with all of his forces. He's not doing a real do or die push. He's really holding on to his whole firing line. So I I really am curious if that's if that's honestly a gambit to um, just try and try, try and make free tired. Um, over time, he's shelling this location and Free's ignoring it, but he's missing out on a couple hundred minerals there. Um, <clears throat> losing some probes though, but I don't think it's going to phase Free too much. But now he's getting shelled again at this actually 12 o'clock position, and if he doesn't do something about that, Free is not going to be mining. And he stasis is that tank, uh, but that's only a temporary fix. He needs to get some forces in there that can take out that tank immediately. Otherwise, it's going to take out that Nexus. Um, Wow, so um, that Nexus could go down actually pretty quick. If the Nexus goes down, that could be really bad. Oh! oh. Vessel looked like it might have been going in there to send another EMP off. Gets stormed to death. And here he comes in. Oh, there's the EMP. Uh, I didn't see if the Templar had any energy or not. But those those tanks are going to wake up here pretty soon. Hopefully he targets the Nexus. Um, still, he might be able to take out that Nexus before his tanks die. If he can get a couple shots off. I don't know how many hit points that Nexus has left. Uh, they're gonna wake up any second now. They're gonna wake up. There they go. Uh, they, well, he's actually targeting the Nexus because he can't see the dragoons. Oh, takes out the tanks before they're able to, to kill it off. So he's still mining from that 12 o'clock position. Um, so actually, light. He, he's playing very conservatively with his last forces with no uh, mining. Dude, he should totally mine the, the like however many minerals there are at that at that um, natural expansion that are used to block. <laughs> uh, that'd be great. Anyway, it looks like he is gonna. Wow, sorry, I'm really tired today. It looks like he is gonna move in here and um, and take out that that. Uh, uh, Forgot how to tell time for a second. The six o'clock position, he's probably going to be able to go run in there with some SCVs and um, mine a little bit of minerals, but um, not going to get a ton out of that though. He's gathering up SCVs and stuff for some reason here. He's sending them out over there. Uh oh, we've got we've got some some archons in the field here, and uh, that may actually even just be, uh, uh, I mean, an effort to draw EMP blasts against those arbiters. Um, Instead of, <laughs> I mean, instead of uh, draw EMP P blasts to the Archons so that they will not be used against the Arbiters, theoretically, though. But uh, the EMP obviously will be something that can take out those Arbiters. If those Arbiters, I'm keep saying Arbiters instead of Archons. What's wrong with me? Um, if those Archons are clumped up. They could easily be taken out very quickly with just a single EMP. And here he goes. He's spreading out his ar uh, uh, Arbiters again to try and avoid the EMPs. Uh, he stasis is a bunch of units. This could be the end for Light right here. We got Free moving in here. If Light loses his army, he's not mining at all. There's nothing he can do. If he loses his army, he loses the game. Free moving in here with a bunch of zealots. He storms a couple of tanks. Half of his forces are stasis right now. And here comes the second wave moving in here. There's still some zealots, um, some vultures there to protect. But nice storms go off on everything. It looks like Free is going to take out Light right here with this attack. Yes, more forces coming in here. Free is also not mining very much at all, but he's got a bunch of forces in the back, and he's really making use of his uh, extra gas from those uh, depleted mines by uh, <laughs> by making tons of Templar, the most uh, mineral cost-effective unit. Um, but I think he really just needs to take out that group of tanks there, and then he's going to be golden. Um, there's not going to be a lot that... that um, uh, there's not going to be anything, rather, that Light can do with no army and no income right now. Um, we're probably going to see GG very soon. Um, what was that? Let's just storm the middle of nowhere. I guess he's... What? What, what is going on over here? Why did he stasis his own units? Is that like a GTFO? That might be a GTFO move. Oh, man. It's like, you know, building buildings in your, in your opponent's base. To be like, look, you've lost so much badly that I can do this kind of stuff. He's stasising his own units over there. I guess it theoretically could have been a way of like avoiding damage from. The oh man, wow! I thought Free was low on cash, but he is apparently not. Look at this crap. Oh man, that's just painful. Lights, 
Light's gonna have to leave here pretty soon. Um, so, but uh, Light does manage to tire out free a little bit because it's been a almost 40 minute game. And, uh, oh, they're hallucinations. That's why. He's going to burn up mines with hallucinations. Never mind. I thought he had, like, a ton of dragoons. Look at this. He's just running dragoons in everywhere to soak up mines everywhere. <laughs> and light GG's. <laughs> oh, man. Well, there's not a whole lot to say that I didn't say before. Light spread himself too thin. And got back into it and spread himself too thin again, and got back into it and spread himself too thin again, and then never really got back into it, but still continued to spread himself too thin continually. Um, and by the by, those last few spreads, I mean he kind of had to do it because he had to catch up economically. So, I mean he did pretty well. He and almost ended up starving free out as well if he'd managed to take out those bases a little bit earlier. But anyways, GG. Thanks for watching.